Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with TechBit Solutions and a couple uh, answers for questions I've been getting in the comments section. So first off, another fake out right at market open. The market begins to indicate signs of an uptrend. You guys can see with the overall NASDAQ market. Market begins to push up and then all of a sudden gets rejected later throughout the day. This has happened for the past two days. Today is the third day, right? What I do want to talk about is I talked about an ETF yesterday. Uh, I showed that I was up over $2,000 yesterday alone. And on the day today, I'm up another 300. So it's not very much. Uh, overall, I'm still up over $1,000. Uh, and it, it's going good. But one of the things that you need to understand is first off, one of the things that I love to repeat is if you're a beginner, if you're someone that doesn't know when to lock in profits, stay away from SQQQ. I'm telling you this as someone that's trading this. I don't need you to jump into it. I don't care for you to jump into it. Look out for your future self based off of your actions. SQQQ is a risky ETF. It's triple leverage, meaning that when the NASDAQ market goes down 1%, this thing goes up 3%. And the reason that that's so important is because, yes, it's great when the market's dropping, you can kind of hedge your position by going into SQQQ, but SQQQ is not a stock where you want to get greedy with. Like, this is not a stock you want to, an ETF you want to hold for a long period of time. SQQQ decays. I mean, not only just decays, but it's more bearish than it is bullish. Look at the past, you know, uh, what's it called? 180 days. It is a continuous descending pattern. This is simply not an ETF or a stock, right? That you want to hold for more than a couple of days, in my opinion, right? One, two, three days, right? Like know when to lock in profits and kind of just to like, okay, that that that's a risky trade. This is not something that you want to be greedy with. Uh, a lot of people were like, really, I guess, inspired based off of yesterday's video. Uh, since the NASDAQ market pulled back yesterday, they're like, oh man, like I want to jump into SQQQ. Like you need to understand that the reason I share that SQQQ position is because I want you to know how you can make money when the markets pull back. I think that's important. That information is important, but it's also very important to know how to do so and to understand that the market is more bullish than it is bearish. So yes, although that for one, two, maybe three days as the market pulls back and corrects itself to about the moving average, SQQQ is a good run, right? But other than that, I don't want to hold SQQQ for a long period of time. So today will most likely be my final day. And even if the market drops even further, well, Ricky, you could have made more. That's not where I want to really, you know, take my chances. It's not about, oh, I could have made more. It's not about that. I'm just hedging my position as the market pulls back. I can make a couple bucks, right? That's all. But please know how risky SQQQ can be if you don't know how to lock in profits. If you are someone that gets greedy and doesn't lock in profits with stocks like SQQQ that are more bearish than, than bullish, stay away from it. It's that simple, right? We can look at TQQQ, which is the bull ETF. This is, and this also decays over time, but its performance has been crazy. Look at this from the bottom of the pandemic, right? To overall highs, this thing hit over nearly, right? Uh, almost a thousand percent. It's insane. It's, it's great growth, but think about that. That's the bull ETF, not the bear. So yes, you can hedge your position with SQQQ as that's the bear ETF, but don't take your chances in being greedy with something like that. Know when to lock in profits, know when to pull out and when enough is enough. Understand that direction is your friend. So don't overcomplicate it, right? I just wanted to make sure that you guys understood what I meant when I was going into SQQQ. It's not a swing trade for me. It's not something that I hold for weeks, right? It's, it's something maybe for a couple of days, if that, and that's all. And then I'll lock in profits and I won't touch it. I don't care if it sells off even more. Uh, I did a really good job uh, shorting Tesla today. Uh, yeah, Tesla could potentially drop below the EMA. Uh, I also didn't take my chances with Tesla. Yesterday, I made $4,000 shorting Tesla. Uh, today, I made $1,700. Now, I only have five shares shorting Tesla, but before I had, what, uh, over 100 shares at 100,000. Uh, today, I had only 30 shares is how I started off the morning during our live trading session. Um, but yeah, I I like to do things in, in a tasteful way, right? Um, I like to have some skin in the game, but with moderation, right?
I need to always understand that the direction is my friend. And although the markets are pulling back right now, I don't want to get carried away. I don't want to get greedy because I know that the markets are more bullish than they are bearish. And I'm excited to buy the dip and go long on a lot of these blue chip stocks, right? I'm excited to buy Facebook. I'm excited to buy Amazon. Shorting these stocks and going into SQQQ are just for a couple of days as the market is a little bit more in the red. Uh, and I just wanted to make a video showcasing how you can make money, right? Uh, while the markets are pulling back, but the important part is knowing how to do so, especially in an effective way and not being greedy. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this. Um, I'm very, very excited to uh, follow up and to see where, if the market continues to sell off or if the market begins to recover, uh, please don't overcomplicate it. If you're worried about the market pulling back, like this happens literally every two months. If you guys look at the overall NASDAQ market, this happens every two months. You should not be worried. This is, if anything, for long-term investors, a great time to buy to benefit from the recovery. That's where the real money is made. So I'm very excited to load up when we begin to identify a support level uh, and then ride back the recovery as the market tends to be more bullish than it is bearish. Uh, again, I explain all of this during my live trading sessions. If you've never watched me trade live, if you like the way that I break things down, I'd love to invite you to one of our live trading sessions. You guys can click the first link in the description. It's our Learn Plan Profit Group. They're the only group that I work with on a closer basis. I offer nothing else. It's only Learn Plan Profit. They get to watch me trade live every single day at market open and it's and it's just that simple, right? So if you guys wanna learn more about it and see if it's a good fit for you, first link in the description. Other than that, feel free to subscribe to the channel and make sure you drop a thumbs up if you feel like I earned it. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.